In part 8 of this series, I showed you how to use Vortex to install and manage ENBs. However, I may have left you with a few unanswered questions if you are a terminally curious nerd. Questions such as, why has an ENB cache folder appeared in my game folder? And didn't you say you were going to discuss what would happen if you ran an ENB without a preset? And, and yes, I did. So those are the questions I'm going to answer in this video. If you have installed and run an ENB and then opened up your game's installation folder, you may have noticed a new folder has appeared called ENB Cache. This folder was created when you first ran the game with ENB installed and it gets updated every time you change either the ENB local.ini or the ENB series INI. And basically, once this cache has been created, when you run the game after that, it will start up quicker. Although it will only do that if you enable it, which you do by opening up the ENB local.ini with a text editor. I'm going to use Notepad++ and making sure shader cache is set to true. If it's set to false, basically these files do nothing. But what I want to bring your attention to is the fact that these files are not actually managed by Vortex because you didn't install them with that tool. They were created by the game itself. And what this means is if I go along to the ENB and I disable it, Although you will notice the ENB series folder disappear, along with the ENB local and the ENB series INI, the ENB cache is still there. This is not a problem. I cannot stress that enough. This is not going to have any negative effect on your game. If you have no ENB installed, that folder will be ignored. And if you install a new ENB preset, this folder will be regenerated anyway. So you can leave it behind. It will have, you know, no effect noticeable other than taking a little room up on your drive. And if that bothers you, you can delete it, although it really is not very large. But you might be wondering, can you get Vortex to manage these files for you? And the answer is, Yes. Uh, essentially, if you disable the ENB preset so that uh, all the other files have been removed, and then you right-click on it and open in File Manager to open up another Windows Explorer, this shows the files that are installed for this preset. If you go to the uh, installation folder and select the ENB cache that was created by this preset, right click, cut, and add to this folder, you've now transferred those files to the installation itself. I can close that. And now, if I enable this preset, the cache will come back. And then if I disable it, it will disappear. There it is. The EMB cache is now back. I'll disable it. And it will disappear. So is there any advantage to doing this? Well, apart from keeping the data folder a little cleaner, it also means that when I re-enable this preset, I get back the cache and thus the first time I boot up the game, it will start a little quicker. How useful that is, is really going to depend on, you know, how often do you do that? If you're switching between presets all the time and testing them out, you might want to do this because it will save you, well, it saves me about 35 seconds on startup, so it can be useful. But if you're just testing one or two presets and then you're going to leave it in for months and maybe you'll have another profile with a preset, Really, you have to ask yourself, is 30 seconds extra on the first time I run the game after that, that big a deal? And the answer is probably not. So, you know, yeah, there's a there's an advantage to it, but it's not really that big a deal. On a related note, 
Earlier in this video, I installed the binaries and then did not run the game until I'd installed a preset. But what would happen if you ran the game with the binaries installed, but with no preset? Well, let's find out. EMB series is installed, but you can see there's no ENB series INI or local INI. So let's see what happens. I'm going to run the game just once and then check back into the installation folder. And you can see I now have an ENB cache folder, an ENB series folder with two files in it and the ENB local and ENB series dot INI. It's created some default files for me. And if I disable the binaries now, those files are now left behind because once again, they were created by the game, not by Vortex. And I'm going to stress this once again. There is no harm in these files being left behind. It will have no negative effect on your game. And when you re-enable the binaries and add a preset, it will be as if those files were never there. You can select these files and delete them if they are bothering you. Just, you know, delete them as you would do normally. Or if you want, you can actually add those to the Vortex installation for the binaries, although I can't see any reason to do so. Uh, there is possibly one reason to add them to a new mod, and that would be if you are creating your own ENB preset, but that's a little out of scope for this video. So overall, if you accidentally do this and it creates these, you can probably delete them if you want to, or you can ignore them it will have no effect on your game. And that really is it now. I will be back with another video in this series and I hope you could join me for that video. I look forward to seeing you there if you do. And until then, remember as always, have fun.